Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to install the Windows 10 May 2021 update or version 21H1 using the update assistant. These steps are meant to upgrade a device running version 1909 or an older version. If you have version 20H2 or 2004, you can update quickly from the Windows update settings. So to upgrade to version 21H1, you need to go to this Microsoft download page and then here, just click the update now button. Then you wanna save it. And once downloaded, just click it to open it. As you can see, the update assistant is telling us that we're running version 1909 and the latest version is 21H1, which is the update that it's going to install on this computer. And to continue, you wanna close all your running applications. And then simply click the update now button. Once the tool confirmed that the hardware is compatible, you can click the next button. Keep in mind that this process can take some time depending on your internet connection and your hardware configuration. Also, before proceeding with any installation of Windows 10, it is always a good idea to disconnect any peripherals, including external storage, printers, to avoid installation problems. Also, make sure to create a full backup of your computer in case of something goes wrong and you need to roll back. I have a video tutorial on how to backup your device and I will be leaving that link, including the link to download the update assistant on the video description below. This could happen. If you get a message that you don't have enough space, you either need to free up space on the computer or you need to add an external drive that has enough storage that Windows can use to temporarily store files and then after installation you can disconnect it. In this case, I just added an external hard drive and I'm going to select it right here and I'm going to click the next button. Once you're ready, click the Restart Now button for the setup to complete the installation on your computer. And that's it. Just click this button to exit the application. And then you can confirm that you are actually running version 20H1 by opening the settings app. And on system, you can go to the about page and then you can confirm that the version is 21H1. Although on Windows 10 updates are automatic, it is also a good idea to go to update and security and on Windows Update, click the Check for Updates button to make sure that you have the uh, latest patches and driver updates. And that's how you use the Update Assistant to upgrade to Windows 10 version 21H1. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.